Hello friends, this video on factorization part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let us look at the type 3 that is factorization using identities. So what are identities? So do you remember that we had learned about the three standard identities a plus b whole square a minus b whole square and a, a square minus b square. So these were the three standard identities which we had learned in our algebra and we have even proved these identities. Now we will see that how can we make factorization a lot easier using these identities. So let us take one example. So let's say you have an expression like this a square plus 8a plus 16. So how can you factorize this? Now if you try to find out factors in this case, it's very difficult because you know a square is a quadratic term that is a has the a to the power 2. This term is like linear that is a to the power 1 and this term doesn't have any variable. So it, it's very difficult to factorize this the way we were doing in type 1 and type 2. So what we do here is now this can be written as a square right 16 can be written as 4 square right and 8a can be written as 2 into 4 into a. So 2 into 4 is 8, 8 into a is 8a. So you can write it in this form, right? And what is this? This is a square plus b square plus 2 into a into b. So a square plus b square plus 2ab, which is equal to a plus b whole square. That is a plus 4 whole square. So what is this? a plus 4 whole square is nothing but a plus 4 into a plus 4. So this is the factor form. So you have been very easily able to write this algebraic expression in its factor form. So that is we have factorized it. So it was pretty simple, isn't it? Now, the only catch here is how would you know that this particular expression will fit into this particular identity? Now, there are certain tricks to identify that. For example, whenever you are given an expression where you see that there are a total of three terms and out of those three terms, two terms are perfect squares. So I hope all of you know by now what are perfect squares, a number which can be written as a square of another number. For example, here 16 is a perfect square because you can write 16 as 4 square. A square is a perfect square because it, you can write it as the square of A. Right? So in this particular expression, you see, you have three terms out of which two terms are perfect squares. And the third term should be such that it fits into this formula that is 2ab. So the first thing that you will be looking for is if you have two perfect squares out of the three terms or not. So only if that criteria satisfies, only then you look for the third, second criteria like the middle term should fit into the uh, format 2ab. Now let us look at one more expression. 49x square minus 36. So here do you have three terms? No, you do not have three terms. Okay, fine. So anyways, the first possibility is ruled out. So what do we do here? But at the same time, we see that here both of these terms are perfect square because set 49x square can be written as 7x whole square because 7 into 7 is 49. x square is again x square. Again, 36 can be written as 6 squared. So both of these are perfect square. So this is in the form of a square minus b square. So a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. And this is the factor form of the given expression. So this is again pretty simple. So just by looking at the algebraic expression, spend a few seconds trying to see in which format that expression is so that we can uh, identify which identity it will fit into. Perfect. Now let us try some examples. So here you have 49y square plus 84yz plus 36z square. So here you have three terms. So there is a possibility for the first and the second standard identity. So out of these three terms, two should be perfect square. So let's check that out. So if you look at 49, it is a perfect square because 49 is 7 square. So 49y square will be 7y ka whole square. Similarly, 36 is a perfect square. That is 6 square is 36. So 36z square would be 6z ka whole square. So, okay, so this, this first criteria is perfectly satisfied. Moreover, the middle term. So, does this fit into the format 2 into a into b? So, this is your a, this is your b. 
So 2 into 7y which would be 14y. So 14y into 6z would be 84yz. Yes of course so this fits into it. So 2 into a into b. So therefore we can write it as a plus b whole square. That's it. Let's look at one more example. So here also you have three terms, but this time the middle term has a negative sign. So there is a possibility that it might fit into the standard identity of a minus b whole square because p square is actually a perfect square. 25 is also a perfect square because it is the square of 5 and 10p can be written as 2 into p into 5. That is 2ab. So this can be written as a minus b whole square or p minus 5 whole square. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.